And welcome back. We are on the third episode of Deviance. Now, if I had any foresight, if I could do any pre-planning, I would have made this episode number two. Numero deuce. A big, old, stinky deuce. But I don't, uh, I, I, you know, I, that was a missed opportunity. It's shameful. It is shameful. But we're here now, so let's let's go with the flow. Let's shoot the shit, as it were, and talk about episode number three. And what, what subject are we looking at? That's one hairy baby. What could that possibly, possibly refer to? A few people had some ideas, but um, you're in for a treat. Let me just put it that way. This is, uh, you're in for, you know, fuck it. You're in for a treat. Now, if you were to go on to DeviantArt and search up the term, I don't know, baby fur, you would get 13,580 results, as well as be put on a watch list by the FBI somewhere. I can almost guarantee you that. Right now, somebody by the name of Agent Johnson is watching this video to see if I'm really okay or not, because of the shit that I had to wade through over the last couple of days, looking at this horrendous fucking tag, this god-awful fucking thing that exists. Now, you might be asking yourself, if you're a little fucked in the head, what is baby fur, Jim? What exactly is this marvelous thing? Well, you are going to regret that question. Taking a look through the results on DeviantArt gives you a pretty quick idea of what we're looking at here. Small, anthropomorphic animals, usually toddler age, wearing a diaper and shitting themselves. <laughs> that, that would sum up baby fur pretty well, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. There's no... Uh, there's no... I don't need a punchline. This, this joke is its own punchline. This thing exists. Baby fur exists. There are people that like this shit. <laughs> Again, that's no pun intended. There's no pun intended on that one. So what ex <laughs> How... I don't know how we're going to do this. I'm going to be honest with you. Let's just... Let's jump into some art. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just... We'll just jump right in. And what better place to start than a, a community, a group on DeviantArt that I think really encapsulates what this is all about. Forced baby furs. <laughs> That's baby fur furry, anthro forced. I want you to get a nice highlighted view of that because this is what we're diving into. I'll read the uh, the group's info for you. This group is for art and stories of furries forced diapered or babied against their will or about to be. Anything that does not fit one of these categories will be removed, no warnings. If you wish to add human art, add ears and or a tail to your work and it can stay. If you don't like the rules, don't join and don't post here. This group is to be enjoyed and not contaminated with art or stories that aren't for this group. Everyone is welcome to join, but mistreat this group and you will be removed and blocked. If you have any problems, you can respectfully, respectfully message me at bungiebunny.deviantart.com. Now, before any of you decide to run out and take a look at this group, just be warned, you will forever be shamed with having your name put on their wall. I can never wash this away. It's like being on the sex offender registry. There's, I can't make this go away. Everybody can see it now. I'm kind of fucked. But you know what catches my attention more than me being in a, a criminal database for the rest of my life now is that little guy down there. Look at that. Look at that distraught little face. That looks like pure pain and suffering down in the galleries. Let's, um... Let's, yeah, focus right in there. Let's take a look at that. Our group's mascot, Snippy the Bunny. Well, how can I resist? Clearly, this is going to be fantastic art. I think we're all in for a treat. Simply stunning. Nothing captures the essence of suffering more than this poor, poor, abused rabbit. Now, if you pay close attention, you should notice something's missing from this. And no, it's not his dignity or freedom. A commenter seemed to clue in on it. Where are his hands? Well, I think I can answer that question for you, Nutty. Clearly they've been cut off. Because if he still had his hands, he would try to suffocate himself to escape this fucking living nightmare of having a, a diaper strapped to his ass. Five years from now, seven years from now, there's going to be a dead little bunny in the meadow that's handless and has a diaper stuck to it. That's all that's going to be left is a little pile of bones and a pair of pampers. Continuing the theme of sick fuckery, here we've got a, a rabbit, an anthropomorphic rabbit with a diaper strapped to its ass, in a straitjacket, why not, and some kind of a contraption, a treadmill. 
It's like they took uh, one of the extra scenes, one of the bonus scenes from a Saw movie, and decided, fuck it, let's make it into a picture. You know, one of those talked-about traps that they didn't really have the budget for. Here we see how it would have worked. There's a little key on there. They're taunting it. Here's your freedom. Come and get it. But what I like the most about this is not the actual picture itself. It's this fucking comment from a now-deleted account. This picture gives me an idea. Well, this comment gives me an idea that I should probably look through the backlog of Amber Alerts for something that specifically happened on May 29th or May 30th of 2012. That's the idea I get from your fucking creepy comment. But of course, this DeviantArt group engages in far more than simple pictures. They're also writers. So let's take a look at some of their literature, because there was a gallery for that too. So allow me to read for you. Pokemon's Embarrassment RP from Karth 3 on October 8th, 2014. I am a teenager who has been mistaken for a baby due to my small size and diaper. I was sent to the daycare mistaken for a small child. You are my father who has been searching for me all day. You decide to continue the baby treatment I got in the daycare to make sure I don't wander off again. You take me shopping for all the stuff. You buy a playpen, many toys a crib, a pacifier, baby reins, some baby clothes, and very thick disposable diapers. After we check out, you take me home. I'm protesting all the way. What first? So they've really upped the game. This isn't just a straightforward piece of literature. This is interactive. Interactive in the seven fucking pages of comments that are directly below it, filled with some of the most absurd shit you're ever going to read. But let me give you a highlight. Buys the dragon. Yes, you are. As far as I and that daycare are concerned, you are still a baby. Don't feel bad. In dragon years, you are really just a baby anyway. Tries to undo the safety belt. Don't even think about it. It's childproof. Sixteen. Which in dragon years is just over one. Grr. Don't give me that attitude. Is your diaper clean? Lay off, Dad. Mardozer, 725. I'm going to be the kid, if that's okay. Fine. Female Grovel tries to rip her diaper off. You can't. She growls and tries to slice at it with Leaf Blade. No effect as you feel the need to go. Daddy, please pull over. I need to go, she said. Well, isn't that just riveting? I think we all really enjoy a choose-your-own-adventure stories, especially in the comment section of a role-playing game involving you shitting into a diaper. And that's how I want to spend a Saturday night. Thank you so much, Forced Baby Fur. What a great group you've got going. And of course, it wouldn't be possible without the main guy himself, Bungie Bunny. And just taking a look at that page, I'm sure your, your eye is drawn to the photo album he has on the right-hand side entitled Humiliation. I wonder what sort of pictures, what wonders we'll find if we take a look through here. There are so many things wrong with this photo. That's a fucking black cat or a cougar, and it looks like it wants to murder this bitch. And she's dressed it in a little dress and little frilly socks and mittens and put a massive fucking diaper on it and then shoved a pacifier in its mouth. Here's one I like to call koala autopsy because it looks like it's begging for death. Just, just grab the scalpel and end it. Some son of a bitch has put a diaper on me and I just can't take it anymore. I've smelled like shit for three and a half weeks now. Just fucking put an end to it. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe this one. It's a very angry bear with a little itty-bitty pacifier in its mouth and a baby bib and a giant piss-soaked, shit-soaked diaper. And look at the autism on that one. Just look at that face. If anybody in this picture should be wearing a diaper, my money would be on that one. Not on Mr. Grumpy, but on her. And it's not just the owner. Looking through the membership roster of this particular group leads to some really great pictures, such as this. It... I don't... <laughs> I'm not sure what this is. Is it a lizard? Is it a cat? Is it a furry lizard? It's got Sephiroth hair. It looks very distraught, shitting itself silly, while mechanical hands pamper it. And it looks to be tied to the crib. And this looks like what you'd find in John Wayne Gacy's house, buried under the floor. For some reason, this person's put it in a nice, bright, colorful room. All one monotonous blue tone, except the red door. It's almost like they're taunting it. You'll never escape. You're stuck here forever. Changing Time by Ben the Fox 1000. Artist. Nate Muse. Hee hee hee! I want that to be me. Yes, it would appear that this group in particular has its finger on the pulse of the baby fur community. Whether they're drawing it or writing about it, or even just favoriting pictures. 
and they are favoriting pictures. Let me let me show you a few of the related things that I've come across. Well, looking at this specific group, words almost fail to describe it. To take in the magnificence of this photo, I want you to imagine yourself as a seven-year-old child sitting in the movie theater with your parents, and you're watching Bambi. And then out of nowhere, in the back of your sugar-rattled little mind, an epiphany hits you. You know what would make this better? Diapers. Let's put diapers on fucking everybody. The skunk gets a diaper. The bunny gets a diaper. Bambi and Bambi's little sister gets a diaper. Fuck it. Put a diaper on Bambi's dad. Now, of course, any adult that would hear you express that opinion would probably look at you and say, Are you fucking psychotic? You can't capture a deer and put pampers on it. It will kick you to death. It will gore you with its fucking horns. It's not going to let that happen. Those antlers are going to go right up your ass, Billy, if you try to do that to Bambi's dad. I like to call this Stockholm Syndrome by diaper. If you focus in, you can see what the observer is supposed to notice about this magnificent piece of artwork. Those eyes. They are begging for help. His arms are probably shattered. And it looks like he has a tail off to the back right. I don't remember Care Bears having tails. But fuck it, let's add one anyway. His arms are broke. He's not going to fight us on it. Just stitch it onto his ass and watch that heart shatter in half. It looks like she's trying to line that little deer baby up. as a fucking pool cue. Like she's going to use his diapered ass to knock the eight ball in the far right corner pocket. This would be a great example of insanity if deers were anthropomorphic and inclined to put diapers on and then took their children to pool holes and used them to bat around the balls. Now, during my magical adventure through the forced baby fur deviant art group, I looked at their membership roster and the things they favored, all the different pictures and all the different stories, and there's quite a bit of stories up. Quite, quite a lot of literature. And all the role-playing, which is pretty much par for the course for any cringy shit you're going to find on DA. There's going to be about 30 people in the comments wanting to RP colon 3 with you. But then I stumbled on a very special account. It was so special, in fact, that I'm splitting this episode up. It's going to be continued in episode 4 next week. Next Friday, there's going to be more. Now, you may be asking yourself, what was so special about this account? Well, taking a look at toddler girl, messmaker extraordinaire, a 35-year-old female from the United Kingdom. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. Well, out of the ordinary for these crazy fucking people. I mean, they do have 301 pages of a comic book about furries shitting themselves. But when you take a look at the bigger picture, suddenly it becomes clear. It would appear that there's quite a bit of crossover between baby fur lovers, the people that like anthropomorphic rabbits shitting in diapers, and age play people who are adults that like to pretend they're toddlers who shit themselves. So with that in mind, I'd like you to join me next week as we continue off, kind of bookend this extraordinary saga of shitting in diapers for part four, Big Boys Make Boom Booms Too. Oh.